Difference between throughput time and cycle time. Have you ever wondered how businesses streamline their processes to deliver maximum output? They do it by understanding concepts like throughput time and cycle time. But what exactly do these terms mean? Let's break it down. Let's start with throughput time. It's a measure from the time an input enters a system until it becomes a finished product. It's about tracking the entire process, from inception to completion. Imagine you're baking a cake. The throughput time would include everything from the moment you start gathering ingredients to the time the cake is ready to serve. That's your total throughput time. Now, let's move on to cycle time. Cycle time is the time required to complete one cycle of an operation, or to complete a function, job, or task from start to finish. Using the cake baking example, cycle time would be the time taken to perform each individual task like mixing the batter, baking the cake, and icing it. Each task represents a cycle in the process. The main difference between the two lies in their coverage. Throughput time considers the entire process, while cycle time examines individual tasks. Both are critical in identifying bottlenecks and improving efficiency. Throughput time is key to understanding the total time spent on production and helps identify any delays or inefficiencies. It is a comprehensive measure that includes processing, inspection, move and queue times. Cycle time, on the other hand, offers a more detailed look at each operation. By measuring cycle time, businesses can identify which tasks take the longest and work on improving these specific areas. So, in essence, throughput time gives you a bird's eye view of the entire process, while cycle time gives you a worm's eye view of each task. Both are integral to process improvement and efficiency. Improving throughput time and cycle time can lead to increased productivity, cost savings, and customer satisfaction. After all, who wouldn't want their cake baked faster and more efficiently? In conclusion, throughput time and cycle time are two important metrics in any business. When used correctly, they can offer valuable insight into operations and help drive process improvements. So, the next time you're baking a cake or running a business, remember, measuring and understanding these times can be the secret ingredient to your success.